Is there something else you wanted to talk about? Yes, my wood. Take it. And give me the big bag. Hey guys and gals, Paulie Jr. here, and welcome to Verdant Village. This game literally just popped up on my radar screen about an hour ago. And uh, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, I gotta get that. And I'm gonna play it and share it on the channel because I think you guys are going to love it. It's very much like Stardew Valley, a life sim with farming and uh, hunting and questing and people and um, decorating and fishing and archaeology and all that fun stuff that you do in Stardew Valley. It's also here in Verdant Village. It is uh, it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and it's free right now during the alpha development stages. And I will put a link down below to the itch.io page where you can download it for yourself. Um, it's a really small download. It's like 150 megabytes or something ridiculous like that. So there's no excuse. Go grab it and play it. And we're going to jump in right here and I'll show you some of the gameplay to convince you that it's worth your time. So let's uh, let's click on a new. Whip up a new character here. We're going to go with, uh, we've got Punchwood or Paulina. I'm going to go with Punchwood. He loves to farm. Punchwood the farm boy. And uh, away we go. Okay. Cutscene. So this takes place in a medieval era. We've got a king, King Baldrick here. Uh, it's peaceful here at night, isn't it? And his daughter, Lorelei, and they're walking on the beach. It's at night. Um, this is a really, really long cutscene with a ton of dialogue, a lot of clicking, a lot of reading. It's like five minutes, so I think I'm going to skip through it, and I'll explain the lowdown once we get to the actual action. This really isn't necessary. It does set up the scene, but I can tell you uh, myself once we get inside. Basically, they find you lying on the beach over here. And then they bring you back to the kingdom and uh, they give you a house to live in. I'm going to skip it. Yes, very nice king. Gives you this old house that nobody lived in. <laughs> Elise here is uh, our nurse, apparently, and she finds out what her name is and yada, yada, yada. Okay, now Lori comes and says hi the next morning. We're just getting up. We have this property that we can um, farm and live here and meet everybody and do the whole farming life sim thing all right so now it's seven o'clock in the morning it's the first day of spring and uh yeah well welcome to the kingdom <laughs> these are all tips we can just click on these and get rid of them i've already done this at least one time there we go all right verdant village very very cool uh oh wait one thing i have to change here my key binds i prefer this on tap there we go all right Okay, yeah, so here we go. We have our inventory. It's punch wood. We have zero gold. We've got a few tools here down on the toolbar. This is our entire inventory right now until we get an upgrade. The map is absolutely enormous. Look at this place. So here we are home. We've got a castle over here. There's a town. We have a bog and a beach. Not all of it is available during the alpha. Um, I did play for about maybe 10 minutes, and I hit a, uh, an invisible wall here. But we can go down to the bog and walk around town. So we'll see how far we can get. Whoop, what's this? Hot bar. Yes, I know about it. Get out of here. So here's our house. We can go inside. There's really not much here. We have a bed. Um, this door does not work. Goes out back, I suppose. We have a uh, workbench here. It's actually like a cooking station, so we can do some cooking. Probably not going to get to that today. I imagine we can maybe upgrade this house and unlock these doors and this extra space back here and expand. Uh, all right, so let's... um. Well, let's get to town. This we can sell stuff in here apparently, and the first order of business is we're, we're broke. We, we just got a house for free, but we do have to start earning and contributing to the uh, to the economy. <laughs> so let's head over to the east over here. We got a little bridge across, a couple of bridges, and then we'll get to town, and we can buy some seeds. Um, but we can't buy any seeds yet until we have some cash, and I know how to make cash. I've done this, like I said, once for a few minutes. Here we have discovered Amber Glen. That's the town. Now, there's not a lot of people around right now. Though, I did discover a person. Let's see if I can rediscover this person. There's a, a store. Is this the store right here? Uh, let me find the store. Here it is. Okay. Yeah, it even has the old bulletin board out front. Go figure. It's Lila's General Goods. Are they open? 8 o'clock. Oh, yeah, they're open. Okay, let's go in. Oh, hi, you must be Lila. Nice to meet you. And we click on Lila, and she is going to sell us some stuff. Of course, we have no cash right now, so we can't afford anything, but we can at least figure out what we want to buy. We've got multiple types of seeds here. 
all kinds of seeds, spices, sugar, etc. Um, we're going to want some seeds. 50 gold for seeds. I'm not sure how many seeds. I know we don't have enough. I'm sorry. We're going to go get some work done. Um, I don't know if that's one seed for 50 gold or what, but we'll, we'll figure it out. All right. And if we go around back and just, and talk to... Well, <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean to go in your back room. Uh, just talk to Lila here. There's a nice breeze today, don't you think? Is there something else you wanted to talk about? Yes, there is. I would like um, a quest, please. I want, I want a bigger bag. Can you help me with that? It's hard to imagine you carry everything you need in that small pack. <clears throat> Don't judge. Don't judge, lady. I have a large one laying around. I'd be willing to part with it if you'd help me with something. I was thinking about having Simeon build me a new desk. It'll be cheaper if I can provide him with the lumber he needs. That's where you come in. How about it? Uh, sure. I need a bigger bag. You'll do it? Great. I need you to find me a darker shade of wood, which means you'll have to chop down mahogany, walnut, or willow trees. Willows are in the bog south of town, but the other two should be scattered all over. Good luck. Okay, thanks, Lila. I appreciate it. Yay, we have our job. Our first job. Get a bigger sack. So we got to go chop down some wood down here. Yes, people have tasks for us. Very much like Stardew Valley, obviously. So the bog is down here, and it took me a long time to figure out how to get there, but uh, let's see if I can remember. Um, there's a bridge. I think it's over here. So, yeah, this is pretty cool, guys. Um, I don't know how much is in and how much is missing. There we go. Discovered the Bitter Blight Blog. Blog? <laughs> bitter Blight Bog. <laughs> Say that a hundred times fast. And now we must chop down some willow trees. This is a willow tree right here. I love willow trees. It is literally my favorite tree in the real life. Oh, you can hear little um, froggies croaking in the background. Now, we apparently have... Um, holy smokes. How hard is it to chop down a tree? We have a fatigue over here. Stamina, or whatever we want to call it. And that took quite a bit of that stamina, didn't it? Now, how much wood did we need? Let's go check. I need 50, oh, 50 dark wood for a bigger sack. All right, well, that's easy. That's easy. We just need to chop down one more willow tree. I really don't like chopping down the willow trees because I love them. Hopefully they grow back. I guess we can grow them. We have some seeds down there, apparently. Come on, Mr. Willow. Don't be so stubborn. I don't know if I'm going to have enough energy for this. What does that mean? Do I have to go back to bed? Uh, I'm too tired. <laughs> <laughs> no. Without stamina, you will find that you are unable to perform most actions. To regain stamina, you can sleep in your house and find something to eat. Are you kidding me? All right, well, let's see if we can find something to eat around here. I mean, it's a bog. There's got to be some... Oh, can I eat these things? What are these things right here? Can I pick it up? Pick it up. It's a skewer knob. Skewer knob. It's worth 70 gold. Holy smokes. Are you kidding me? All right. Well, maybe we should just go sell that and then buy some seeds and get some farming done. I mean, it's only 10.30. I'm not going to go to bed right now. That seems silly. Yeah, your, your energy goes pretty quickly, doesn't it, when you're chopping down willow trees. Let's see if we can find some more of those mushrooms. Seems like a good way to make some cash. Like, what is all this? We can probably mine those rock piles. I don't know. Let's see if we can find another mushroom or two, and then we'll go sell them. And then this quest can wait. Oh, what is this over here? Some kind of a workbench. I think the foundations for this bridge sunk into the swamp. Oh, it's a, it's a busted up bridge and we can fix it. Simeon could probably fix it, but he'll need to keep the foundation from eroding. Otherwise, the same thing will happen again. It's a quest. Oh, nice. We got another quest. We got to fix the sunken bridge. Dark wood, sand, stone, bronze, bar. 150 stone. I wonder how long it's going to take to get stone. I can't do it right now, obviously. Farming. In order to farm, you first have to till the land with your hoe. Seeds can be purchased. Yeah. You can fish in almost any body of water. Just step up to an area of water and right-click with your pole selected. Left-click when the bobber is submerged. In the following minigame, use the movement keys to match the prompts from left to right. All right, we'll figure that out. We do actually start out with a fishing pole. So we get a house. We get tools. We get a fishing pole. Pretty awesome. What a nice king that King Baldrick is. Oh, here we go. Uh, that's a gray crown. That's a different... That's a different shroom. Oh, what's this? Maybe sometime in the future I'll be able to remove these rocks. But for now, it looks hopeless. Yes, it does. Okay, it's just a sign. Now, what is this thing? I can't pick it up because I am full. I'm going to drop the willow seeds. 
Can I pick it up now? No. Apparently I can't pick that up. Maybe I can... Well, I can't chop it. I have no energy. <laughs> wow. Okay. I think I'm going to go sell the two mushrooms I have and then uh, buy some seeds, go to sleep, and we'll do some farming. How much is this guy worth? 75. Oh, yeah. All right. We can buy some seeds then. All right, we're still open here, right? Yeah, it's only 12.47 in the morning, in the afternoon. Hi, this is our nurse. Hi, nurse. It's Elise. Lila does well here, but sometimes I think she could use a partner to split shifts at the shop. What's on your mind, Punchwood? Uh, do you have any quests for me, Elise? How about topics? Even if you chop down a lot of trees in the woods, they will eventually grow back. Oh, that's good to know, because I was wondering about that. Nature is amazing like that. It sure is. Thanks for the tip. All right. Um, well, we don't want to talk to her directly. We want to do some biz. Now, I wonder if she'll buy our mushrooms. Looking for seeds? It's a great time to start planting. Yes, ma'am. If I sell that? Wow, 70 gold. 145 gold. Sweet. All right, let's figure out what we want to grow. Radish seeds are pretty cheap. They grow in four days. Onions in five days. Turnips. Turnips are cheap, too. Well, let's see how many we get turnip seeds it says seeds i don't know if that's one seed or multiple seeds um do they stack they stack so how about if we do let's do three turnip bags and one two three radish bags and we have 25 gold left over in, in kale uh, one kale now let's just do six that's about all i can afford right now thank you very much appreciate the business all right let's head back home Take a quick nap, um, and then we'll get these seeds in the ground. Oh, I just picked something up. It's a, uh, what is that? Airy spice plant worth 40 gold. So you can forage and make a ton of money. So you don't necessarily have to chop down trees, but I do want that sack. I do want a bigger inventory. All right, I think this is my house up here. Hold on, let me check the map. Yeah, yeah, we're here. I took the long way. There we go. Um, in fact, I think we can just throw stuff in here to sell it. Chuck it in there. Yeah, so that is one of the things you learned during the cutscene in the beginning of the game, that some guy is going to come by and grab all the stuff from here and sell it. Just like in Stardew Valley. Now, I don't suppose I can haul when I have no energy, right? Too tired. Drat. All right. Well, looks like we're going to go to bed early today. 2.25, let's hop into bed. Wake up time. Max? Looks like we're going to be working at night. All right. 10.30 at night. Little night farming. It's good for the soul. Let's do it. Let's just plop the plot down. Just put it over here for now. Oop, right click with our hoe. All right. So to plant the seeds, it's a right click. And that was the uh, turnip. These are the radish. And then we water the plants. Got to water them every day. And we do one at a time. Watering can. Your watering can has a limited number of uses. When you run out of water, simply use the item on a source of water to refill it. All right. Well, hopefully it's got more than one. Yeah. All right. Looks like it's got at least six uses. That's good. <laughs> Where's the nearest water source? It's down to the south. We can go refill it. So that's it. That's all we, that's all we do for the day. I think I'm going to chop down some more wood, though. We need... Another 20 dark wood. So some of this must be dark wood around here. Let's grab some more water. Scoop it up. Pretty cool. Um, now, which one of these is dark? She said mahogany, right? Is this mahogany right here? That does not look like mahogany. Mahogany is a little darker than that, but we're going to find out. I think that's mahogany behind it. Let's see. It says wood. It's wood. Just didn't say what kind. Oh, we skilled up. Nice. Apparently you skill up just by swinging your sword. There we go. Dark wood. Yeah, that was mahogany. Uh-oh. What happened? Daily profits. Forage. We made 185 gold foraging. And we spent 120 on seeds. So we have a uh, new total of 65 gold. Fantastic. Press any button to continue. Oh, it's saving game. Yeah, just like Stardew, I think it only saves at night uh, after the end of the day. So, it looks like midnight is the end of the day, which, well, that makes sense, because that's how it works. <laughs> Although, in Stardew Valley, you've got to 2 o'clock to make it into bed. 
before uh, before you pass out on the ground and then you um, you get carted off to the infirmary. <laughs> All right, I think we should go to sleep. We're gonna have to get some energy back. We do have enough wood now to uh, to give to Lila for our sack upgrade. Um, maybe maybe one more tree before bed. So regular wood. Let's see. Um, how about this one here? Can we get this one down? It's a big one. Because we need wood to fix up the bridge, too. Okay, just enough timber. All right, 27 wood. Um, let's go to bed. All right, I've been to bed. Oh, here's the bar. I was looking down here. You ding dong. All right, let's wake up around uh, 7 o'clock. Let's wake up at 8 o'clock. That looks like it's about max. That's when the stores start opening and stuff, right? There we go. Uh, uh, nom, 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 nom. That's a good night's sleep. Let's check the crops and let's water them this morning. I wonder if I hold it down like in Stardew, we can get more than one now. It doesn't look like it. We're probably going to have to upgrade our can just like in Stardew, I would imagine. And check out, let's see the skills here. Perks. Yeah, so just by using your tools, you'll level up. Like the axe here is, uh, we got one nub on our axe. Pretty cool stuff. And there's a bunch of perks down here. Great auto magically with use. Pretty awesome. All right, let's go. Um, let's go bring our dark wood to Lila. She's gonna turn that into a big old sack. Lovely. Can I fill this up on the way. Yep. Scoop it up. I want to do some fishing too. Don't let me forget. But first, I want to get my sack. Oh, who's this? Hello. Hi. Oh, slow it down. Oh, that's Lila. I think she's going to work. Is that Lila? <laughs> How do I talk to her? Oh, she's on the run. There we go. Oh, it's Kira. Hello there. My, you don't seem like an average traveler from these parts. Punchwood? It's wonderful to meet you. My name is Kira. Sven, the grumpy gray-haired smith, is my husband. If he gives you a hard time, just let me know and I'll sort him out for you. Welcome to Amber Glen, Punchwood. Feel free to drop by any time. All right, I will. Thanks, Kira. I don't know where she goes during the day. We'll find her eventually. All right, let's get to the store. And I want my sack. I think we have to go around and chat with Lila from this sign. Got your wood. It's dark and lovely. Everything is so pretty when it's in bloom. Is there something else you wanted to talk about? Yes, my wood. Take it. And give me the big bag. A bigger bag. Increase inventory size by five. Wow, you really gathered it all. Thanks so much. Here, I'm sure this will help you out. All right, we got a big bag. Anything else we can do for you? A mother's secret. Have you tried much cooking yet? I was never much good at it. Mother always said I had an eye for business, not baking. When she was alive, she prepared all the meals around here. I miss it all dearly, the sight of her in the kitchen, the smells, the tastes. She kept her recipes secret, but when she passed, I found some of them. I'm not much of a cook, but I'd still love to try. If you could find me some fresh berries and a bit of sugar, I'm, I think I might be able to whip up something, whip something up. Yes, I accept. You won't regret it. My mother's desserts were always the best. Everyone in town would say the same. Awesome. I, am, I have a feeling I'm going to like your desserts, Lila. There's a nice breeze today, don't you think? Is there something else you wanted to talk about? Yes, I want some extra kick. Want me to let you in on a secret? Well, maybe not a big secret around here, but certainly one to outsiders. You'll find a lot of plants growing in the wild around here. Some of them are more useful than others. There are two in particular that I'm interested in. Bring me back a few of them and I'll let you in on the secret. I promise it will be worth it. Ooh, this girl is full of secrets and mystery. I like her. Great, the plants you're looking for are resilient and grow just about anywhere. Just don't bother with the swamp. All you'll find there are mushrooms. All right, so we got a bunch of new quests here. Extra kick. We need crackling spice plant, airy spice plant. Dang it, I had one of those. I sold it. And a mother's secret, blueberries and sugar. So, yeah, there's going to be a whole bunch of um, foraging, apparently, early on in the game to make money and do quests and that kind of thing. So, why don't we do this with the rest of the time? in this episode maybe we go down to the beach and collect some shells and do some fishing yeah let's do that we're gonna pass through the bog i think not sure how else to get there yeah to go to the bridge cross the bridge through the bog and down to the beach and we'll do a little fishing we should have enough energy for that i would think and maybe those mushrooms grew back i don't know what is that thing again yeah i think i tried getting one of these before oh prick it you chop it oh i did get it i did get it like it's a it's a ladle coat, ladle coat. It's worth sixty five gold. Holy cow! All right, remind me to go back and get that other one I missed. 
I guess I just didn't click on it properly. This area of the game hasn't been implemented. Say what? Wait a second. Here's another mushroom. Click it. Why can't I pick this up? It's got a really small little hitbox. Skewer knob. Oh, look, here's our backpack. I didn't even notice. Yeah, five extra spaces. Wow. That's not a very large pouch after all, is it? Oh, oh hold on. We, we made it. We made it to the beach. The wave crest beach. You just have to go over here to the middle area, not this area. So it looks like this map is cut into slices. All right. Well, we are at the beach. And it looks a lot like um, Stardew Beach, doesn't it? I guess they all kind of look the same. All right. I'm going to pick that up. We do have the space now that we have our new backpack. Pick it up. It's a ribbed arc. 30 gold for ribbed arc. That doesn't look like it's pick up -able. Uh, can't go up north here. Let's just scour the beach for shells. And then I'm going to do some fishing. We'll see how that mechanic works. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. Three years in development, one person. Um, it's obviously a lot like Stardew Valley. It probably took a lot of inspiration from Stardew Valley, it seems like. Um, bubble shell. All right. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to more of this. And let me know if you guys want to see more. I mean, I still have Stardew Valley installed. And I've got a long series going with that. Over 100 episodes. So I don't know if I'm going to start up a whole new one here. Oh, another bridge that's busted. Okay, well, we'll have to fix that up. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's do some fishing here. We'll call it a day. And then you guys can go check this game out for yourself. And it's free, so there's really no reason not to. And it, it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. A teeny, teeny, teeny little download. I can't even see my bob right through that out too far. There we go, a little closer. Now, what did it say? Do I have to right-click or left-click when it goes down? I'll just try them both. Oh! I missed. <laughs> Dang it. All right, we need a little more space here. There we go. Oh! Hmm. It didn't really go down, did it? Maybe we have to wait for it to go all the way down. Let's see. Wait for it. Nope. Nope. It's just teasing. I got it. Pull it up. Pull it up. What the heck? <laughs> what was that? Okay. Not quite as intuitive or easy as Stardew Valley fishing. Were those arrow keys? Or was I supposed to click on something? Let's try again. What the heck? Oh, I just have to do it in sequence. Okay. Okay, I got you. I think I just have to do that in sequence. Man, it goes fast, though. All right, I'm not very good at this. Let's see. This way, this way, this way. Down, down. Oh, still going. All right. Well, I'm not bad at it. Hatchet fish. I'm better at that than I thought I was going to be. It's a hatchet fish worth 30 gold, so we can, we can sell the hatchet fishes, too. And all the fishes, I would imagine. Whoop. Reel that back in. Let's try it one more time. It's like tap, tap, dance, dance kind of thing, I think. I don't know. I don't really play those games. <laughs> Get them? Yes. Down, down, left, 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 up. Oh, I screwed up somehow. What What I do? Caught him. It's a beard fish without a beard. Worth 40 gold. We have one slot left. Um, let's save it. Let's save it for something else. All right. I think I'm going to head back and do some selling here and make some money and then maybe buy some more seeds. We're not going to get to see the crops grow. It's going to take too dang long. Several days. So I think we're just going to call it quits right here. Oh, somebody's here in the bog. Hello. Have we met? Oh, it's Lorelei. It's Lori, the king's daughter. A lot of people don't like the swamp. Seems they think a monster is going to jump out at them around here. Looking for little old me? Uh, yeah, I am. Got any? You yeah, have no quests. Um, anything else you want to talk about? There is an island not far from the coast here. Some say there's a secret cove that houses a city. Ooh, no kidding. All right, well, I'll keep my eyes open for it. Uh, all right, in we go. So what do we have here? We're going to sell some stuff. What can I help you with? Well, we didn't find your berries and stuff, but we know how much you love mushrooms. So here you go. And would you buy some fish from us too? And how about some shells? Yes, 345 gold. What else do you sell besides seeds? Chocolate, mm -mm -mm. tea leaves, rice, um, oil. Now, we do have to buy sugar from her for her own quest. Beef, poultry, stock. Yeah, we can do some cooking, but I think we're just going to go with the seeds for now. I'm going to grab 
Uh, let's see. Let's grab some lettuce seeds. These grow in four days. Do three of those. And how about one, two, three kale seeds? And let's do some onions. One, two, three onions. I'm going to go get all of these in the ground. All right. Thanks, Lila. I'm going to get used to all these names now. I'm so used to all the Stardew Valley characters. I know them all by heart. But um, this is a whole new town. All right. We're back at the Punchwood Farm. I got all the new seeds in the ground. And oh, no, I can't water that last little seed right there because I'm too tired. <laughs> do I have anything to eat? I don't have anything to eat to get any energy back. I wonder if there's like berries around here. We could probably find some, right? Well, what is this up here? Hold on. It's my own property. I didn't even know this existed. Some kind of a workbench. Let's read the sign. It's an old forge. It's a bit worn, but it could probably be, be repaired with a little effort. Maybe someone in town could help fix it. I accept that quest. Let's see. What do we need to fix up our forge? 50 stone and Sven, the grumpy old guy married to uh, uh, Kira. Kira, right. Okay. Yep. Well, we'll go chat with him at some point. Maybe. But I'm just looking for something to eat so I can water that last plant. It's got to be some kind of berry or something around here. Let's take a little walk. Real quick and see what's around our property. Oh, that's a ledge. Oh, we got something here. It's busted. Everything's busted. Looks like an old path to the mountains. Sven dabbles in masonry. I bet he wouldn't mind trying to fix this. If I bring him some things to work with, he should be able to clean this up. All right, man, it looks like we're going to have to do a lot with Sven. Grumpy old guy. All right, I didn't find any food that way, so I think I'm going to go around town maybe these berries have to be around somewhere oh who's this it's the same people all around whoa 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 lady what's up what's up you're pushing me right off the map into the foothills she's still going holy smokes you pushy what, who are you what's your name stop it's kiara oh kiara i need to talk to your husband did you need something from me uh is your husband home I bet you can make some food with those. Yep, yep, yep. She's going to hang out by the river now. She just shoved me all the way up here to the mountains. This is cool. Whole new region to explore. I don't see anything to eat around here, though. <laughs> yeah, it just seems like a big, empty space. My guess is this area is not complete yet. And it will have some kind of features added to it down the road. Although maybe it's just here for mining. I don't know. Yeah, see, that area has not been implemented just yet. All right, let's get out of here. There's really nothing up here in the mountains at the moment, I don't think. Oh, it's a new person. Hi, new person. What's your name? Mel. Hmm. Hi, Mel. Hello, you must be Punchwood. My name is Melanie, but people around here call me Mel. It's good to meet you. If you ever feel like taking on livestock, talk to me. Oh, I love livestock. Do you have any livestock? I think we might have a few new sheep soon. Was there something you wanted to ask me? Uh, do you have any quests for me, Mel? Rancher's Trial. Maybe you've noticed my barn and my chicken coop outside. They've been built special to hold more animals. If you've talked to Simeon, you may have noticed he doesn't make those designs available to everyone. Him and I have a small deal regarding the blueprints. If you're willing, I can make them available to you. You just have to pass a little test. Oh, I like tests. I knew you'd be up to it. We call this the rancher's trial. It's pretty simple, really. You just have to prove you're capable of nurturing the animals you keep. Bring me this list of products, and that will prove that you're a good caretaker. It may take a while, but stick with it. Okay. Thanks, Mel. Nice to meet you. I like Mel. All right. What's Mel's trial required? Chicken eggs, milk, goose eggs, and truffles. Okay. I, I think I think we can we can do that. Is she pushy, too, like, like the other lady? Oh, oh, excuse me. Sorry, Mel. Sorry. Sorry. I saw it first. Get out. Nah, got it. Got it. I got it. I think I got it. I got it. It's a yellow briar. Five gold. Oh, I don't want that. Can I eat it? Let's see if I can eat it. No, nah, I can't eat a yellow briar. Seems like a bad idea. Or right, here, this looks like a barn or something. Oh, I'm, I went in. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's Mel's place. Hi, Mel. I just can't stop following Mel. Uh, it's some kind of attraction, I think. Yep. I can't stop. I can't stop. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. All right, I better go now. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to call it quits right here, folks. Um, once again, this is Verdant Valley. 
It's on itch.io. I'll put a link down below in the description. Oh, here's some chickenses. Hi, chickens! Spy chickens. Um, yeah, so again, check it out if you like what you see here. I don't know if I'm going to play any more because um, I do have Stardew Valley still going. Again, it's free, so there's really no excuse not to give it a try. The whistling feels. Oh, it went right past my house. Holy cow, did I ever. It's a big farm over here. Ooh. Yeah, the map is enormous. I don't know how much is available right now and what's missing in these locations. Okay, we're going to call it quits right here. I can't stop playing, but I should go back and at least save it. So I will see you all next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.